you make a diabetic stand on a high glass table okay we take the photograph of his feet man is standing on the table we take the photograph digital photographs and we digitize it and we put a CWD plot on that and we can show beautifully how the capillary is gone doing that this is a normal chaos the blood supply to the feet comes and goes comes and goes comes and goes and distributes like like a flower going you know like that now you make a diabetic patient stand on that tightly controlled blood sugar absolutely normal he stands there his capillaries are absolutely like that they will never do that now if you can have something which shows that sugar is controlled and the capillary is doing that that will be the real dhanvantari's medicine and i was telling our young man energetic engineer that the controlled studies in future should be done not on reductionist ideas as we do in most western medicine that is you take two groups match control we say what is matching height weight body mass index sex that won't do because man is not his body man is 30 percent body 30 percent genes 40 percent consciousness so you must be able to classify human beings in a genetico constitutional conscious variety that is only can be done by ayurveda that is you know this vata pitta kapha is not just the literal meaning of that these are genetico constitutional subtypes of man now somebody has developed a further thing there are 500 subtypes of vata pitta kapha and all that can be computerized today and you can get the cd from pune university there's a man called bhushan patwardhan you write to him he will send you the cd you can put it there and then any patient who comes to you if you have a long questionnaire to know all about him his worries his anxiety his background etc 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 and type it onto the computer press a button you get a subtype of that man now you must get say 100 people and they are typed into various types and you must compare the same type individuals with the other type this is the real control study for the future and one more thing as i have told you you can now check the healthy chaos in everything if you want i can give you the chaos in the heart if you want i can give you chaos in the lung if you want diabetes the most important part is the capillary system you can see all diabetics a problem whether it is in the eye or the kidney or the lung or the leg or the heart or the wherever it is it is the capillaries that really are a problem even tightly controlled diabetics have more complications than not so tightly controlled diabetics also for the simple reason that you are not controlling the healthy chaos so the future studies must be based on ayurvedic classifications and healthy chaos of individuals it is difficult little difficult to, and little more expensive than the present one but if really the powers that be understand this and make it a mandatory thing we can have wonderful studies emanating from india which the west will have to copy now the west is trying actually they have put up a big thing called wph whole person healing group and whole person healing group has got its head office in washington dc and last month they had a huge conference where i had to give a keynote address on what is healthy chaos and this was attended by such eminent people there are about 10 nobel laureates and all kinds of people there are not only doctors there are engineers like our friend girish there are all kinds of people physicists chemists name it there are they are there and this is the future of medical research now if any one of you have learned chemistry i will tell you there is what's called a new chemical action happening in the human body called hormesis have you heard of this it's not even written in the pharmacology books hormesis h-o-r-m-e-s-i-s hormesis is is every drug in very small doses has a bio positive effect it does good to the human body and there is a threshold beyond which it harms the human body this applies to every single drug a to z every drug has the same thing which is called hormesis which was first discovered in vitamin c by an eminent chemist in the same department where linus pauling discovered vitamin c but linus pauling didn't like it because you say vitamin c is bad he hated it so he filed a suit against this man for 10 million dollars and who won the suit edward calabris won the suit but of course linus pauling didn't pay the money the university paid the money anyway linus pauling died now hormesis has come to be i'll give you an example 
If any man ever get a heart attack and come to the hospital, do you know what we give you? Rat poison. Warfarin is rat poison. Only thing is we give a larger dose to rat and a very small dose to you. That's all. Or sometimes we get from snake poison and give you thrombolytics. Or we get from urine and give you thrombolytics. And now urine is bad, but that extract is not bad. In very small doses. Rat poison is bad for the rat and you also if you take it in larger doses. But in very small doses it may save you. Because it doesn't allow blood to clot inside the vessel. Now this is interesting. This is hormesis. And that happens in Ayurveda. Ayurveda and homeopathic drugs work by hormesis. So that little bit of say for example ginger. Now ginger has the most potent antiviral drug ever found in medicine. And this was discovered by people in Harvard University. You and I think ginger, nobody will believe it. Garlic. They wanted to kill garlic by doing 43 studies in the world literature on garlic pearls. And everyone was negative. So they wrote an editorial in the BMJ. Garlic is good for cooking but not as a medicine. So I wrote an editorial. Garlic is good but not garlic pearls. You have not done your studies on garlic because garlic pearl doesn't have the SH group. They have removed it to remove the smell. And what is there? If you remove something, it's gone. So don't make Ayurvedic drugs. They are not Ayurvedic drugs. Herbal drugs.